Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about very basic spring interview question. Explain bean life cycle. Spring framework is based on IOC, inversion of control. So we call it as IOC, IOC container, inversion of control container. Also, so spring beans reside inside the IOC container. The spring beans are nothing but plain old java objects pojo following steps explain their life cycle inside the container the spring container will look the look for the bean definition inside the configuration file or if you are using annotations it will scan try to scan at component and other annotations using reflection container will create the object and if any property is defined inside the bean definition that it, then it will also be said so inside the bean definition you have another bean so it, that will also be created and set <coughs> using auto wiring or if the bean implements the bean name aware interface the the factory calls set bean name passing the beans id if the bean implements bean factory aware interface the factory calls set bean factory passing an interface to itself if there are any bean post processes associated with the bean, their post process process before initialization methods will be called before the properties for the bean are set. If an init method is specified for the bean, it will be called. If the bean class implements disposable bean interface, then the method destroy will be called when the application no longer needs the bean reference. If the bean goes out of the scope, then destroy method will be called. If the bean definition in the configuration file contains destroy method attribute, then the corresponding method definition in the bean class will be called. So these are the steps involved in the life cycle of a bean inside the spring container. Hope this video is useful. Thank you and all the best.